So, there's not much difference between Reason 7 and Reason 8. The main differences are in the workflow. Reason has recreated its browser. The tab feature seems to be one of the biggest selling points for Reason 8 as well as the drag and drop feature which users have been looking forward to for a number of years. Tabs allow you to switch between the sequencer window, the rack window, and the mixer more efficiently. Tabs can be expanded into a new window just by clicking on the, the arrow in the far right corner. The browser is another feature that is introduced in Reason 8. Here you can load samples, create instruments or import presets. Let's take a look at the mixer. The show hide section has been updated with a new look. In previous versions of Reason the show hide effects panel has maintained a vertical look. Now in this version it is horizontal with two levels of options to choose from. The new drag and drop feature means you can't drag anything anywhere. Drag audio into a pad on the Kong, load a patch dragging it to the instrument, or load a track by dragging it to the mixer. Now let's look at the transport bar located at the bottom of the screen. In this version of Reason you have the flexibility of moving each column according to your preference. Reason 8 also comes packed with a new amp and speaker device. The new amp and speaker models from Softube gives you further creative options when recording guitar or bass. The two devices come with first-class modeling of classic amplifiers and speakers combined with a selection of great sounding presets. So there you have it. I hope this video covers most of the new features so that you know what to expect when you go out and purchase Reason 8 or get the upgrade. Thanks for watching and please click on the subscribe button so that you will be first in line to receive a link to new video once they are posted.